Shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. What revolves around the solar wheel? Sun worship. And today, it is still real. Today, I'm going to tell you the one thing you need to know about the solar wheel. Sun, or Baal worship, can be traced way back to pagan worship at Babel, where Nimrod is also known as Shemash and many of these other names here. Uh, he was worshipped as the sun god, and this was the symbol, a solar disk or solar wheel. Here's a symbol of Baal at the top picture that was found in Israel, and then the bottom one, symbol of the pagan god, sun god, Shemash. So at left is the pagan sun wheel in the temple of Karak, India. And this wheel is associated with occultism and astrology, and it uh, does resemble a chariot wheel. And I'm going to leave all these links for you below so you can study this out for yourself. The ancient wheel of life. Here it is, and it's been around ever since the Tower of Babel. That's the sign of Baal, the sun god. Here it is again, this wheel, and it is sold on Amazon as a Zen facsimile of a Buddhist wheel. So it is all from the Tower of Babel, and it is all still here with us today. All of these symbols originate from the solar wheel. You've seen a lot of them. Uh, and the wheel is an ancient symbol found in the heart of many sun-worshipping people. It is the object of sun-worship which is ultimately just another flavor of Baal worship, a pagan form of idol worship that is still widely practiced all over the earth. And we weren't aware of it. Maybe you weren't aware of it. Um, it has been renamed and repackaged to suit different cultures, and there's a wide variety of the solar wheel to accommodate every culture and religion. So here's the Aztec sunstone, and it's at the center of the stone is a representation of the sun god, Tunas, and um, it is uh, a calendar stone, but the stone is um, really not a functioning calendar. It is an elaborately carved solar disk. And here it is on the tomb of the Aztec throne. Here's a solar disk from Greek. Here's China, solar disk, solar wheel. Here's the sun temple again, Konark, and uh, here's another picture of that same wheel. Here's Buddhism. Here's India, the solar wheel. Hinduism, Celtic, the solar wheel or sun disk. Medieval times, the solar wheel. Scandinavia, there's a solar wheel. So many of today's customs used in the churches can be traced back to 4th century. Remember in 321 A.D. when Constantine joined paganism with the church? And so uh, he permitted the process of converting the official religion of the Roman Empire from Christi paganism to Christianity. So uh, Christianity was actually modeled for many customs that were from paganism that would be acceptable to the Jews also. So it intertwined uh, the pagan superstitions and religions. And there are signs and symbols of the occult and mystery religion all combined into the Roman church. So oh, in 1878, this essay by uh, Newman he says, all these things and symbols, the temples, the branches, the incense, the lamps, the candles, the votive offerings, holy days and seasons that are not in the Bible, and the calendars and all these things turning to the east are all from pagan origin. And there uh, is the link, and I'll leave these things below. So this is supposedly a stature of Peter enthroned. And this is in the Catholic Church, and there's a sun wheel above his head right here. So um, this is thought to actually be a statue of Peter, uh, of Jupiter. Of course, in the Catholic Church, they think it's a statue of Peter, but it's actually a statue of Jupiter. 
So uh, also the right foot is missing there. I don't know if you can see it on this picture. Pretty much wore down from people kissing and paying homage to him. Which, by the way, you have to bend over and bow down to worship it to kiss that foot. So notice also that the pattern on the wall uh, utilizes a symbol of Baal or Shamash. So is this image a statue of Peter enthroned or is it a statue of Jupiter? So um, for more information about Peter, the apostle that never went to Rome, uh, please watch uh, one of my other videos, Why Do People Kiss the Pope's Ring and Why Do They Bow to Him Like a King? And in that video, I explained that there were two Peters, Peter Magnus in Rome, and Peter the Apostle never went to Rome. Here's some more solar disk uh, images and signs and used for the Eucharist also. And here we go. This is St. Peter's Square in Rome. And the symbol of Baal is within the symbol of Ishtar. And at the center is the Egyptian obelisk, all representing pagan sun worship. That big, tall tower of the obelisk is right in the middle there. So here it is, um, shown how it can be divided up for uh, sun worship and how it casts uh, the sun shadow or in the sun light as a solar disk different times of the year. Here at the left, essentially the same image is found in Bernays, La Virta, which I can't say these Italian words, a Catholic church. But look over here at the face. This is actually uh, a pagan Greek sun god, Apollo. And uh, all these uh, pagan uh, signs and symbols of sun worship have been put into churches. Here we go again with the big sun symbol and the cross. And here we see um, a photo looking up in the dome of St. Peter's, and it is very obvious, 16-ray sun wheel. And indeed, the light from the sun streams into the dome. Did you know that sun worship is forbidden in scriptures? Deuteronomy 4.19, he says not to worship the sun, moon, or stars, or the host of heaven. And then again, um, he says uh, not to serve other gods. And in Deuteronomy 17, the punishment for that was death for Israel. Israel is the one nation that worshiped Elohim, the creator. The other nations all went into Baal worship. And then when Israel was in apostasy, they went into Baal worship too. So there is another video you can look at, my very last one, about sun symbols. What does the halo represent? So Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Remember the second commandment. You shall not make for yourself carved images. No graven image or any likeness of anything. That's Exodus 20, 3 through 5. That is in heaven above, earth beneath, or the water under the earth, not to bow down to them nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, your Elohim, am a jealous God. So remember, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers in her sins or her plagues. And please like if this was a blessing to you today. And uh, I hope you share this with your family and friends, uh, anybody that has been in your church or worship group, and you'll uh, see the links below I'm going to leave for you. So remember, I'm short and sweet, and I'll see you back again next week. And subscribe for more info about information about the symbols of Mystery Babylon, and hit that little bell, and then you won't miss anything. And so I'll see you back again next week, yeah, willing. Bye for now. Thank you for listening in.